saw the buildup of the headboard, I'm gonna slow it down and take you through all the steps and show to you how simple and easy this flat pack headboard is to assemble. Let's get started. As you open the box and you locate the instruction manual, immediately you'll notice there's quite a few components, but many of them are just duplicates. So as you get them out of the box, just stack them in their groups. Once your components are all out of the box, it's now time to pull out your hardware. Now I just find it much easier just to quickly sort these so you know exactly which component that you need in each part of the step. And the only tool that you're going to need is a medium sized Phillips screwdriver. Before we get started on the assembly, we need to do some preparation of some of the panels by inserting some of the hardware. We're going to start off with the wooden dowels. Identify which are the legs and you'll see there's holes on both legs, there's two holes for two dowels. Just pop in a dowel, two on each leg. You'll also notice that the legs have a top side and a bottom side. The bottom side you'll notice has the recess and there's a left hand side leg and a right hand side leg. Next we're going to pop in the cam locks on the top slat. Now you'll see the top slat has been labelled for us. You'll notice the cam locks have a little pointer at the top which points towards the top hole. So you'll see the top hole on the top here, pop in the cam lock and pop them into position. If you find that you haven't got it in the right place, you can easily just turn it and adjust it with a screwdriver. One, two, three and four. Next we'll pop in our cam screws on the top mould of our headboard. If you find it gets a bit tight, you can finish it off with a screwdriver. But be sure not to over tighten these, you don't want to strip the thread on the inside of that plastic insert. Last bit of preparation, on the underside of the legs, the bottom side, you'll see two holes at the bottom. Just pop in the feet, helps protect the board. We're going to begin the assembly now and we're going to start off with the right and left leg. Here's the right leg, remember spacer at the bottom and we're going to be working upside down. So we're going to be keeping the nice face on the downside all the way through this assembly. Okay, and this is where we pop in our first panel. That's the top panel. You'll see the dowel stick is going to line up with that middle hole. Lift them up gently, hold them into place and push them down. Likewise, exactly the same on the other side. You'll notice the cam locks are at the top side of the headboard. It's now time for the next piece. Now you'll see each one of these pieces has got a groove on one side and what we call a tongue on the other. So it's kind of like a tongue and groove system. So that groove is going to fit into the underside of that tongue. Pop that into position, just line it up and in it goes. Our next piece is going to be a large slat. We're going to be going large slat, small slat, large slat, small slat, all the way down. We're going to finish off with a large slat. Now it's important that you finish off with the correct large slat because as you can see, it's got to match up with the dowel pins at the bottom. Now we know this is the last slat because it's the only one left that has the hole to accommodate the dowel. So let's put that right down at the end. We'll come to that bit later. Groove on the top, tongue at the bottom, line it up into place and pop them down. Next again with a small one, and a large one, a small one. And now we have our bottom slat being the large one with the hole for the dowel. So line the first peg up. As you shuffle it into position, just give it a bit of a jiggle. You might find that the dowel pushes through. Just push them down and you've got those guys firmly located. Once you've got all your slats in position, you'll notice there's quite a bit of movement. So this is quite important to make sure that your slats are perpendicular to your legs. So making sure that you actually have a completely square headboard. So let's just line it up. Just look at the gaps on either end and you should have an even spacing on the slat. Just double check both sides. Once you're happy with that, take your screws, and pop them into the pre-drilled holes of the large slats. Then apply some firm pressure and screw each one of these screws down. Happy with the one side, exactly the same process on the other side. All my panels are secure, it's now time to pop in the moulding on the top. Just line up the cam screws with the holes. And as you turn that cam screw, you'll see it'll pull that top moulding down tight. 
You need to do about a half turn, just past half, that's more than sufficient. And that is basically it for the assembly of this headboard. Let's lift that up and have a look at our handiwork. There you go, that's the final result. Basically done in just a few minutes, something you should definitely be proud of. The most important thing now is to get it in place behind the bed. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos just like this for you to be inspired, get to Builders, and get it done.